Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm going to share with you meals in a jar, but it's not canning. I hope you stay tuned. Hi everybody and welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to share with you something new that I'm making. I'm going to share with you a meal in a jar, but it doesn't have anything to do with canning. Something that you could put on your pantry shelf right now. It's very frugal and it will feed you for months and months to come. I'm sharing you through this little cookbook that I got was given to me and it is a gem. It has all kinds of amazing dry mixes. Now I bet you're wondering, wait a minute, what for dry mixes can feed you a long time? I'm going to make with you dried beans in a jar and then I'm going to share with you me making it to see how it turned out. Let's get right into the video and let's get working on this. I'm going to share with you what it calls for. This is a little bit more of a detailed video, so I'm going to try to go real slowly so you can understand. What we're going to do is we're going to take one quart jar, now I'm times that by six, and we're going to fill our jar with one cup of dried northern beans, one cup of dried kidney beans, one cup of dried lima beans, and two bay leaves. We're going to go ahead and do that, and then we're going to mix up the spices and put them in a bag and that bag is going to go in this jar and then it's going to have the instructions on how to make it. So first let's get all of our beans in our jar. We're going to take our six jars. These jars have been washed and sterilized and they're very dry. You want to make sure your jars are completely dry. Now some of these beans I was able to get at the Dollar Tree which really makes it quite inexpensive. So one cup of the navy beans, and one cup of kidney beans. one cup of lima beans now I did not wash these beans because if you wash the beans it would have been hard to make sure they were totally dry you want to make sure that you wash your beans after you take them out of the jar and before you make your meal So we put two bay leaves on the side. This is actually really fun. This could be given as gifts, but I really want to have this for my pantry shelf. And if I like the recipe, I'm going to make a lot of it because it's so easy to just get one jar out of your pantry and make your meal. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the mix that goes inside. Got the snack bags at the Dollar General, which is, they're only one dollar and they're really sturdy. Heavy duty bags. Now we're going to make six bags of the seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and open up six bags a while. I'm going to put one fourth cup of brown sugar in each bag. brown sugar. You can get it at the Dollar Tree. You can get all the beans but the lima beans at the Dollar Tree. Alright, that part's finished. Two tablespoons of minced onion. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the rest of the ingredients are. Then it calls for two teaspoons of beef bouillon, one teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of dried mustard. This part you can admit if you want, but it's one fourth teaspoon of red pepper flakes. 
I'm going to use even less than that. All right, I'm going to finish up all these baggies and I'll show you putting everything together. All right, everyone, we got everything together now and the jars are assembled. Let me show you what it looks like. So these are our jars. Now we have the instructions. So we want to put the instructions inside our jar. And the instructions are, we're going to soak the beans overnight and then we're going to add all of our spices and seasonings. So eight slices of cooked bacon and one and one half cups of barbecue sauce. So all we need is barbecue sauce and bacon. Now you can omit the bacon if you want and all you need is barbecue sauce. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make one of these jars and show you the final finished product. Is it worth putting it together? Well, we'll find out here in just a moment. All I'm going to do is take my beans and soak them overnight, add barbecue sauce to my seasonings and a little bit of bacon, and then we are going to bake it. Just to bake it for one hour. This way is not convenience, but let me tell you, it is so much fun, and it's really nutritious, and it's really frugal as well. All right, so I'm going to put the instructions in the jars. Now, you can have them as a tag on the outside, but I'm going to try it this way. I think that looks just perfect. So all I did was I printed out the instructions on cardstock paper. You know how much one of these would cost if you would buy it in a department store, especially over Christmas time? like this I reuse lids and we can make them really fancy if you wanted to well everyone I made one of these jars of baked beans and let's see how they taste smell delicious I definitely have that really old-fashioned baked flavor. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm going to make so many more of them. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that is really good. The beans got really good and soft. That is good. Well, my friends, it's a winner, winner dinner. I'm so glad I gave it a try, and I hope you do too, because it's so easy to make a mix in a jar, and you can have yourself homemade baked beans any time of the day. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Mwah. Bye. My videos come out seven days a week at 7 p.m. Eastern time.